And with this, I'm going to somehow um, build something. And that's the cylinder head. Just got it inside. I still got my shirt and tie on. But you can see it's not too bad. But it's that that worries me. That is heavily pitted. Look at that, that is disgusting. That is a concern. I don't know how that happened. It was a lot worse. I had to kind of file it down and get all the crap out. But otherwise, it's not so bad. And it has to, happens to be on the hot side where the exhaust manifold is. I still need to build this thing. So I could um, use the valve spring remover. I haven't done this in years since I last worked on a Vauxhall 8 valve head. This is going to be fun. Okay, so... Ooh, that's not safe. Just about enough. I think I might be able to squeeze it. But I've done that. That should now give me the opportunity to work on the cylinder head indoors. I need to somehow make it a bit more tidy in case it drops down. Use my daughter's um, gymnastics mat, which provides a bit of height. I just want to check this is long enough. Oh. Oh. Let me double check. Oh. Okay, I need to make some revision. It works, but it's not long enough. I need to I need to change the game a bit. I need to do something where I've got more height. What can I do? What can I do? And it's not enough. I don't know if you can see that. Just not enough leverage to even release the collets. Hmm. I don't remember it being like this in my young years. I need to investigate further. Okay, now turning it to the side. Still stable. But, maybe better to remove the camshaft. It's not touching. But yeah, best I remove that. It's a lot bigger than it is in comparison to the cylinder head. Cylinder head's quite small. It's a very compact head. Oh, good. Okay. So with my tie on, I need to get changed. I'll be back. Now, I've uh, added a bit of woods underneath to raise it a bit. And now, before taking off these things, I need to make sure I know the numbering and which way they face. Otherwise, it might cause problems with the camshafts. That should give me... Holy crap, what's happened to this one? Oh, it's just oil dried up. Mm, wasn't expecting that. Is that corrosion? Hmm. Need to investigate. Well, that was a big bummer because that's the second cap I took off. Don't know if you could see too well, but it looks a bit. It's not too bad, but it's kind of scorched a bit. It's not. Oh man, and that's just dirt. It comes out, flakes off. I think I need to replace these, but there's a bit of wear on here. Let me try to zoom in. Forecast me, Oh, do you see it? There you go. Ah, oh, I think I need to replace the head. What do you not think? Can you see it? It's not that bad. I know Wayne from Wallace Engineering would have filed it down back in the day. But now, so to, oh, hang on, they're all numbered. Three, two and whoops 
that one too. Yeah. Here we go. The light alloy things. All right, let's go. I think this is the best way to do it. Let me zoom back out again. My daughter's toys. Oh, the mess. It's like a playground here. Ah, oh, this is stressing me out actually. Each time I look at this cylinder head or the car, there's always something just annoys me. All right, let me see if I could do it whilst holding this. It's difficult, very difficult. Without damaging anything, place that there. Oh, I'm a long way to go. Hmm. After a, a battle, I compressed it down, but now it's impossible to get that collet out. Really feel to give up. Wish I had money to just pay someone to do it. But what's the fun in that? It's a learning curve. In the old eight valve heads, it was so much easier. These 16 valve heads are a bit of a pain to work on. All right, I'm going to try to find something where I could separate those two collets. I'm sure as you get older, you just lose. Oh, God. Oops. You just lose. Ah, patience. Ah. Quite a strong, oh god, oh, bloody hell, that was the biggest pain, thing came off, got it off, but I'm scared now, it's going to take me forever to do this, but here it goes, if I pull the top off, there's a chance, it's all going to go, oh, like so. Let's go out of zoom. Hang on, what's going on? Something doesn't feel right. Oh, my God. I'm going to destroy my cylinder. Let's put that here. Out of the way. And... Why? Hang on a minute, what's going on? Why is it not coming off? Okay, I'm gonna need that magnetic rubbish. Put that out. Ugh! Greasy as anything. Magnet is really strong. Right. Rings there. Okay, now there was a way of testing the play, and there isn't any play. It's actually very tight, very tight. Let's see the valve for scores. And so far, it's clean. Actually, very clean for an engine that's 140. Hmm. There's no signs of where. Hmm. Looking down at the don't know how I'm going to remove that without having a valve seal remover. I thought I could reach it without having to buy anything extra. So, back to the drawing board. This is way too deep. Way too deep. I've given up. I've given up. Can't be asked. Got my tea. So that's the equivalent to a white towel. I'm just going to leave it. I just can't be asked. It's just a headache I don't need right now. Um, it's a good project I want to do, but there's always some peril that comes my way and just destroys my plans. So I need to buy this thing, 
valve stem seal remover and then I wanted to better do bits on port polishing and uh, just learn and just do some things myself save a bit of money but it just seems like a very difficult head to work on and all the equipments I have ie magnetic doo-doo seems to just break apart and this thing here was a right nuisance to use actually it's the biggest bulky it's just let's see how I move forward thanks for your help and support I wonder what these markings mean <laughs>